Matcha, and happy Homebrew Wednesday, and a belated happy Father's Day to all the uh, fathers out there. Um, I know I had a fun weekend, and I hope you did too. Uh, a big thank you, first of all, to all the subscribers. Uh, I don't really look at the stuff too often, but I took a look the other day. We have 391 subscribers and over 28,000 views. What are you people watching? <laughs> I just find it funny, but it's really cool. A lot of great people out there. I enjoy watching your videos as well. Thanks for subscribing. If you like what we do and you have fun watching the videos, please subscribe. And I, we, we do appreciate it. Um, and also my hard drive. I mean, we've done so many videos, the hard drive is getting full. So I'm kind of being forced uh, to get back on working on the bloopers and uh, buzzed buffoons video, whatever we're gonna call that. Uh, so I have to kind of go through and clean out some of the funny stuff off the raw video and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna delete all that and just keep the final videos. But, wow, I, I can't believe how many videos we've done at this time. It's probably been a good year and a half now we've been doing this just about. Um, uh, speaking of good videos, uh, there was a amazing, fantastic, brilliant, brilliant, that's the right word, brilliant video this week. So a huge, huge shout out to eBurns812. eBurns812 did a Big CQ tribute. And if you know Big CQ is doing a contest, I thought about doing it. There's just no reason to enter after seeing his video. I'm gonna give you a little teaser. I'm gonna give you the link below. You're gonna to wanna to see his video. Check this out. <laughs> Watching Homebrew, hosted by Big Secu at Secu.com. Greetings and salutations to you all. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. I'm back, bitches. Boom. So as you know, I've sort of pioneered myself as being a, an experimental homebrewer. And the truth is, I don't know what else I can add to here. I tried baked beans. Those are left for me to blaze. That's what we're going to be doing today. Hey, doesn't that look delicious? There she is, bubbling away in the demijohn. Hey, you can't see through it, you can never see through it. That's how you know you've got a good beer. Cool. Okay, I, I promised you that would be pretty funny, but you only got a piece. You only got a, a tiny taste. It's a great video. He did a fantastic job. You really need to check out the video. And how proud am I? This is an Oregonian. Uh, he is burns us down in Eugene, Oregon. So awesome. That's very cool. Uh, I don't know. It looks like me. He's, he's hard in the running for that contest. Um, let's talk about beer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be drinking a lot of beer today just for you. <laughs> Sometime back, you saw me do a hazelnut brown ale. And I talked about how it fermented odd. It was the weird, the crazy ale. So I've just let it sit for a long time. And I, I popped one open the other day because it was like, Ma, I'm going to keep this. What am I going to do? Did you hear that? It, it's starting to drink okay now. It's starting to drink better, drink well. So we're going to pour just a little bit so you can get a look. I don't want to drink the whole thing right now because i got some other drinking to do. But look, just even that small pour, we've got a head. I would have a nice finger and a half, two finger head and i poured that all away. That was my experience. It's got a nice brown color to it now. It has a nice light hazelnut aroma to it. I, this could be much improved, but still. This one's turned out, it's been kind of cool. Very drinkable. Rather than using an extract, I think I'd rather do real hazelnuts next time. Um, this can certainly be improved on. Uh, I will be moving this over, the bottles to Christian's house for his buddies, because that's who we made it for, for Christian and his friends. So he'll have that at home. 
and hopefully they'll all enjoy that. I'm enjoying it. Actually, not, I'll keep a few bottles. <laughs> Who am I kidding? And um, all right, so on other fronts, though, things are looking hopefully better for Christian. It sounds like those credit scores are clearing up. The excess stuff is getting moved off, so we'll see. They're supposed to be running it. He did move in the house, as I told you, and hopefully he'll be getting that refinance soon. That would be fantastic. So we'll find out. Uh, I'll let you know when that happens, and then you'll probably see him showing up in some videos again. Um, meanwhile, speaking of Father's Day, as I did earlier, had a great time on Sunday with the boys. Uh, Christian was here. Colin was here. Colin's son, my grandson, Cameron was here. We went across the way and played disc golf, three generations of Clements. That was fun. And then some of you may have seen it. If you haven't, you really got to go back and view. We had a three generations not tasting, but in the video, for the uh, a beer review, 140 of fruit, some call it fruit, but fruit, it's the 2012 anniversary ale uh, from the brewery, amazing beer. You should watch that video. That was a killer beer. Meanwhile, Christian was outside while we were doing this and he was like, oh my God, the beer's amazing. But Colin did it with me because we were both fathers and and Mrs. Clement's homebrew made like, I think four different pizzas that we then had cooked on the grill. Yeah, on the barbecue. Here's a clip. So uh, today is Father's Day. We are gonna make some fire grilled pizza in the barbecue. I'm the shit. Which I'm, means what? I'm just shit. No, I'm just the little that shit. That means Mrs. Thomas Homebrew made the pizza. Mrs. Uh, Thomas yes. Homebrew made a pizza. And it's Ooh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty BA. Looks bueno. Meat lovers, we've got we've got ground sausage, we have Italian ground sausage, and we have pepperoni, mushrooms, well, and all. We olives. got closest. We just had fruit. And Colin is this beer and fire grilled pizza on Father's Day. Nothing's better. I'm happy. This is good stuff. Uh, I've had a lot of fruit, and I'm just so happy I could cry. I'm not gonna cry, but I'm I, feeling. I'm it a exaggerating, bit. but I do feel a little bit. This is good stuff. <laughs> what a great day! It's strong, but it's been a great day. <laughs> it's a great day. Did some frisbee golf. Hung out three generations. Disc golf. My bad. Disc golf. Three generations, because Cameron, the grandson, was with us. That's right, and he even threw the frisbee a few times. He did. And he put it in the basket. Oh yeah. It's a good day. Happy Father's Day. Pizza number two. Oh. I just had extra, so I flopped it over, and I thought, Dang. Want... Dang, is that good? Dang. Dang, that Dang good. that's good. Wow, we're going to experiment with this more, but pizza cooked on the barbecue kind of has a smoky taste. I know we can improve on it, but yeah, it's I won't perfect, kid you, actually. the missus worked, worked hard and this is like amazing. Put your pizza on, whatever you use to cook it on, put it in the barbecue, get some smoky flavor. I'm just saying. This is good stuff. So that was pretty fun. And if you didn't quite catch it, the way that you do it is you get three, four cans preferred, but you can have three cans of the same height. Put them in your barbecue and whatever you cook pizzas on, put in the barbecue and it holds them up high in the upper part of the barbecue where it's like hot and more baking light. Like, and, and it, it will, it cooks the pizzas up quite nice. It bakes them nice, but it has this little Nice barbecue flavor in there. I think next time I might have some smoking wood chips going on and see what it does. But the pizza was fantastic. Fun Father's Day. All right. I've got a couple more things to do. First of all, you saw me drink recently what's going to be coming out to many of you. The Robusted SJ Woodshop Porter. Okay? Great beer. Great beer. Well... I did make an offshoot, that same beer, but this one 
I had added in secondary um, some bourbon that had been sitting on dark American oak and vanilla beans for seven months. I'm gonna get us some cracked and we'll give it a try. All right, I'm still pouring it in. <laughs> give it a generous pour, but that's a nice little head coming off that sucker. What do you think? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Nice. Let's get a nose on this. <laughs> I have not tried this. That smells really good. Okay, yeah, it's it's the other one. Yeah, but I am getting the oak on that. I'm definitely getting the oak. I'm getting some bourbon on it for sure. It's this nice, mellow. I'm getting more of the vanilla than I do off the other one. It, it smells fantastic. It looks fantastic. Let me get a taste on this. Oh, that's... Oh, that's fun. I owe one of these to SJ, and there's another individual I won't name. Don't want to create havoc, but uh, that will probably be getting one of these. Oh my! And I, I did. I'll be honest. I sent one to my nephew, so you'll probably see a review on this from uh, a Man Bear Pig from from Josh Hoover. Wow. There's not as much fig on this because they were bottled separate and we did not put as much fig on it. So you get a, a, a light bit of the fig. But wow, this is, this, I like this. I like this even more, I think. I loved the other one. More creamy texture. Has that really rich, sweet vanilla flavors on that. I should I should have sent this one down to Jameson, actually, or or one of each. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, I can age I can age some of these. This is this is really good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sip on this and be happy over here. Meanwhile, here take a look at what's going on with the hops. All right, here's a quick hops update. Here's our Willamette hops that were so small, and you can see it's starting to wind its way up. And then we move over to the Cascade hops, and they're starting to come up the pole. They're all, all two feet. And then we get to our Centennial hops, which are going up, and up, and up, and onto the line. And up across on the line now. So I've installed a, a line that goes up to the roof and comes back down and anchors down below and there's extra line. So I have a line that's attached to the side of the house, kind of like boat style. And then it can be lowered down when it comes time to get the hops. I'm over here smiling still. Uh, so the hops, the, the, the Willamette's looking fantastic. The others are picking up. This is a great sign. We did go into a colder spell here. Um, so what can I say? Um, you know, it's sunny out there at the moment, but we had some downpours the other day. We're in Oregon, what can I say? But I've been hearing crazy weather all over the place. So by the way, I want to send some warm wishes out to the, um, the, yep. <laughs> Under the table brewing, <laughs> particularly the, uh, uh, elder P and saw that wind damage. And that's, that's just, wow. That's, uh, hopefully you guys have power back. I don't know, but, um, a lot of damage there, so just warm wishes to you, to you all, uh, um, and hope things go well for you there. Uh, this is Kevin, <laughs> Clement's homebrew for Christian and I and Colin, the whole family here, just saying 
Happy Homebrew Wednesday. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week for sure. Cheers.